We're going to go fishing. All right, YouTube. This is not a fishing video. Um, I found a snake that seems like it's caught in some uh, bird netting here that we have on our fence line. And we put this bird netting up when we first moved here to keep our guinea fowl from crossing through the fence. And even though our guinea fowl can fly, they, uh, they don't often unless they're scared or they want to go up in a tree to sleep at night. So although this uh, bird net has worked really good as far as keeping our guineas on our side of the fence, at least in the beginning, now they, they uh, jump over if they want. But uh, although it's worked pretty good, one thing that I, I found last year in uh, spring and now this year in spring is these, uh, pretty sure this is a coach whip snake, um, find themselves tangled up in this net. And last year, I, did, I wasn't able to uh, find the coach whips still alive. I found several of them dead, tangled up in the netting. And I just happened to come across this guy, which he hasn't tried to bite me yet. But that doesn't mean he's not going to. And he's caught up in this net here pretty good. So I just got a little uh, razor blade. And I'm going to try to get him out. I don't know. I don't know if he understands what I'm doing or if he thinks he's about to get eaten. I really got no clue. But I'm just kind of slowly cutting this net away. I'm also not sure how long this guy's been caught up in the net either. Um, his scales are pretty damaged in some spots. So it looks like he's been here for a while. He might just be tired and maybe um, dehydrated and not really have the energy to try to get away or try to bite me but another thing he hasn't done yet i'm kind of surprised is he hasn't musked me if you ever messed with a snake like this they can musk you and it smells like death and it's just the nasty stuff that they spray out of their butt Okay, yeah, he bit me. Okay. Didn't really hurt. I was just more surprised than anything else. But he definitely bit me. Little sucker. Luckily for him, I'm not really afraid of uh, snakes. And I know that he's not venomous. Although, um, they can contain bacteria and stuff in their mouth that can... Uh, you can get an infection from a bite. Man, this guy is super wrapped up here. Okay, he's almost out. I have a feeling he's gonna bite me again too, but that's okay. I don't think he understands what's going on here. Oh yeah, he tried to bite me again. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Almost got him out here. If he just, I don't want to try to assist his head out because I'm pretty sure he's going to bite me, but 
sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. There he goes, okay. He definitely looks pretty beat up uh, from that fencing. I'm almost positive he's about to bite me again. He don't think he even broke the skin where he bit me earlier. At least I don't see where he has. But one of the first ways to tell when you come across a snake like this, if you're brave enough to even get close to him, one of the easiest ways to kind of tell if they're venomous or not is just look at their eyes. He's got uh, big round pupils and that's kind of a dead giveaway. And then once you kind of get used to the different shapes of uh, snakes' heads, you can tell by the shape of his head that he's not venomous. But it seems like he's a little calmed down for a coach whip. These things are extremely fast. Very, very fast. So here he is. I'm going to get him in the light. Super beat up and he definitely feels dehydrated. His uh, scales, when you move it, they don't really bounce back at all. And that's kind of a sign of a dehydrated snake if you pinch their scales and they stay pinched like that that means that they need water so I'm gonna give this guy a water bowl and a nice little vacation in a small aquarium and let him get healthy I'm probably gonna offer him maybe a green anole or a frog or something to eat and uh, I've also got some minnows in the goldfish pond he might like and we'll get him uh, a nice meal and some nice hydration and we'll let him go uh, on the other side of the property from this bird fence but here you go a east texas a wild east texas coach whip snake caught in my fence all right so hopefully you uh, enjoyed me freeing the snake from the fence there if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button we'll see you next time